I'm away in Jervis Bay this weekend. because I forgot my camera so that's a great beginning to this trip but I'm away in Jervis Bay this weekend oh it's very sunny um we drove down last night after work on Friday um I didn't really film much we just stopped for pizza like in um Huskerson's and then watched a film ate some chocolate and then went to bed but we are staying in I don't know how to pronounce it Erwal Erwal Bay like it's on the other side of where like Himes Beach is um about 10 minutes drive from Huskisson so it's in Jervis Bay but it's like Erwal Bay we've actually stayed here before in a campsite which is literally just up the road um which I vlogged like maybe a year ago now ages ago um oh gosh let me block the head with some in my head um so today it's 10 o'clock we're gonna go into Huskisson's for some food we're going to go to the national park and then we're gonna go to Himes Beach as well um, we're here tonight as well. Tomorrow, I think we'll do a bit in Jervis Bay and then also like maybe stop off en route back up to Sydney. Um, I just feel like we may as well whilst we've got the car. We've hired a car. And we're here with some friends. And yes, I will show you along. I really hope we see some kangaroos because the lady on the Airbnb said that they would be here in the morning, but they haven't come yet. So maybe in the afternoon, they've done. They're more, most active at dawn and dusk. So we shall see. But let me just show you the view right now because it's so pretty. This is the view from our Airbnb. See, look, loads of lovely grass for kangaroos to come and munch on. So, welcome, welcome kangaroos. Uh, all I've seen so far is a pelican. pelican. Yeah, pelican. This is our little Airbnb. It's very, very cute. I took some footage, but we've already like, you know, moved in, so it's a little bit messy. But, but yeah, it was a very, very cute Airbnb. Very affordable as well, which is great. Also, on a completely different matter, I got SNS gel, um, SNS nails for the first time yesterday or two days ago, and I'm not sure how I feel. Like, they look like gels, which is great, but they're just like quite thick, and they're like hard, like acrylics. So I'm not sure if I'll get them again, but we'll see how long they last. We're just waiting for them to give us a call for uh, breakfast, but you can see the dolphin and the whale tours are heading off. We're at Huskerson's, he's just doing his little detour, his detour, his talk. So we're going to have a walk around the sea until we get cold. <laughs> I'm trying to do this inconspicuous inconspicuous so we've just walked to like the very far end of Huskisons and it takes you to shark net beach which is where we are now it is so incredibly blue i think it's because the sand here is so white so that's like why it just basically oh god my glass is wonky uh, that's why the sea looks so clear and then after this we're going to go to Himes beach which is like meant to have the whitest sand in i don't know whether i've made it up it's like the southern hemisphere or Australia but yeah it's up there anyway um yeah Sharknet Beach like look how clear and beautiful that looks oh. it's funny as well because you would look at this scenery and think it's like 30 degrees swimming weather but actually I've got a puffy coat on and a jumper but the sun is nice it's, it's warm in the sun okay so we've just driven half an hour away from Huskisons to a place called Kurrurong um, because we came here last time and the rock pools are like absolutely incredible it's like they're like natural rock pools um, it's freezing so I'm very impressed because Tom and my friend Katie are snorkeling right now she's Irish though so I feel like the cold doesn't even affect her um, we're gonna snor uh, snorkel a little bit here well I mean I'm not I'm gonna watch them do it but let me show you because it's literally like the whole time that we've gone swimming and snorkeling in Australia, I think this is like the most beautiful place that we've been. So have a look. So it's like natural rock pools and where all the dark is, it's like corally bits and like um, rock. So there's so many fish that you can see. Apparently it's 
um, at dawn and dusk you've got to be careful because it's when um, like the little like rock, is it rock sharks or like little sharks come out basically. But it is so beautiful. So if you ever are in Jervis Bay or like driving past it, I would highly recommend stopping off here. Cause like, look, it's just, it's just beautiful. And then there's beaches all around the side. Last time we were here, there were, it was like 30 degrees. And there was loads of people. Um, and I feel like it gives you a bit more confidence when there's numbers. So I think it's freaking them out a little bit because there's like no one here. So shark wise, it could be a bit scary. Also, can you see those pelicans? Let me see. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six pelicans. So there must be a lot of fish over there, which I won't tell them because where there is fish, where there is sharks. So I'll keep that to myself. So we left the rock pools and headed to Boudoury National Park, which is in Jervis Bay itself. It took about 50 minutes, 45 minutes to get from the rock pools all the way to the national park. So we're going to do a couple of, well, potentially trying to do some beach hopping here. I'm walking into a cave. Look. Um, but this specific beach that we've come to is called, I'm getting wet, is called um, Cave Beach. So I'll show you that now and then I'll show you the cave that I'm about to walk into. So this is Cave Beach in Boudoury National Park in Jervis Bay. It's called Cave Beach because da, 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 there's a cave which we can go over and explore in a minute. There's a guy surfing out there which is very impressive and I love this one, this park, this national park sorry because there's kangaroos like um, in the entrance to it so I'll, I'll put it in here. Basically if you come to this beach you're pretty much guaranteed to see kangaroos, which we love. We are gonna come back tomorrow morning, perhaps, with some like bird seed, so we can actually feed them, because last time, um, this lady had loads of bir um, like bird seeds, and she gave it to us, and we could feed them, and it was really, really cute, but yeah. So we've just headed up a bit further north on in the National Park, and this is Murray's Beach. The sun is starting to set, it's like three o'clock, which is really depressing. Murray's Beach and this island here is called um oh it's what's it called oh it's called Governor's Island and people aren't allowed in it and there's a colony of little fairy penguins that live on there which is so sweet we've only ever seen fairy penguins in Phillip Island and um, in Melbourne but that's really sweet but we just know that they're there and then yeah this is Murray's Beach we're now headed to, so that was Governor's Island that I showed you before and now we're heading to Governor's Lookout which you can see um, dolphins and whales apparently. I'm saying that in a lot of clips recently like yeah you can see whales but we haven't seen them yet. And also it's about four o'clock now and the sun is like setting rapidly. It gets dark so early. Oh god an hour. Love that. <laughs> I stand corrected, that island is actually called Bowen Island, not Governor's Island. We're at Governor's Head Lookout. Look, how sweet. We had a success. Oh gosh, it's so windy, apologies. We saw a dolphin. I think there were a few, I only saw one of them, but it counts, it counts, because we were hopeful to see something. Um, the sun is setting, as you can see, it's very, very pretty. Uh, so we're gonna leave the National Park now. Go and get some stuff for a barbecue and then have some dinner back at the Airbnb. Good morning. Um, it is nine o'clock. Ignore this massive thing. I just tried to, I tried to attack it and that's why it looks like that. Um, it's nine o'clock. We check out, have to check out at 10. So we are getting the hurry on. I literally slept so well last night. We didn't even wake up. We didn't even go to bed late. But I think we were all just like so tired from being out in the fresh air all day and doing like a lot of steps. But isn't that just like the best feeling? Like when you're tired from being outside, walking, like, oh, I love it. You get the best sleep from it. 
This makes you feel very, very good. Um, today we're gonna go to Himes Beach. We're gonna go there in the morning, like when we're ready, and get a little coffee or hot chocolate and walk across, just like walk across the beach, take some pics, you know. Um, because like I said yesterday, Himes Beach is the one that's very famous for its white sand. Um, so yeah, we will do that. We didn't have time to do it yesterday because we ended up doing quite a few bits in the national park, which is good because it was really nice and sunny yesterday. But I actually think it's, it was meant to be cloudy today, but it looks like it's gonna be sunny again, so that's good. Um, and then we might leave Jervis Bay after seeing Himes Beach. We're not, we're not really sure yet, we're not really planned it. Um, and then see some bits on the way back up to Sydney. Like we may as well take off a couple of bits. But that is TBC. We are going to stop off at um, Scarborough Hotel on the way back up, which is, I think I've showed you it before. It's an unreal hotel just south of Sydney um, that has like its beer garden, its views. It's literally just like the ocean. So that's the plan for today. Um, I have to hurry along now and check out. And I'm very sorry for this weekend's been on my camera. I didn't bring my, oh, it's been on my, phone i didn't bring my camera with me which is so stupid like the first actual weekend away and i don't bring my camera so sorry for the quality of like this clip but it doesn't seem to be too bad when we're outside um yeah okay i will see you shortly hot chocolate feta yeah, come in, yeah. little breakfast on the beach <laughs> so this is heim's beach look how white the sand is can you see? I hope you can see. It kind of looks like Whit Sundays. Looks like we're in Queensland somewhere. I've just noticed how incredibly wonky my sunglasses are, so that's cool. I have to buy a new pair. But this is Times Beach. In the background. Very, very pretty. They've seen something. Is it a dolphin or a whale? I am back home now. Um, it's Monday morning, but what happened was um, I last chatted to you at Himes Beach. Um, so from Himes Beach, we started the route back to Sydney, but we stopped off on a couple of places on the way there. So we stopped off at um, firstly Kayama. Um, so here we went to see the blowholes. So there's the one big blowhole in uh like the town of Kama up by the lighthouse and then there's also a little blowhole so i'll put the footage in um here i don't know whether i'll put it over the top or do its own clips um but yeah so we just stayed there for a little bit explore like just looking at the blowholes really and by the small blowhole we saw some dolphins so we stayed there for a little bit and watched the dolphins which was very cute um we also got an ice cream which was delicious and then after Kayama, we went, we continued back um, up towards Sydney and we stopped off um, near Seacliff Bridge. So we didn't actually go over the bridge, but we went up to, I think it's called Bald Head Lookout. Um, and it's basically like a viewing platform of the Seacliff Bridge and like the beach that is just below it. Um, it's always really busy because it's a really popular viewing area. Um, so we stopped off there just to get some pictures, look at the view. There was randomly these two bright red parrots. I've never seen them before anywhere, like in my three years of being in Sydney, uh, being in Australia. Um, I don't know, like maybe, well, I've, maybe I've seen them like up north in Queensland, like flying over, but I've never seen them in Sydney before or like New South Wales. And they were just chilling. I think it was too windy for them to fly. So they were just sat on this little bench and someone had left a packet of Doritos there and they're eating Doritos, which is really, really bad, but it was quite cute to see because they had it in their little hands and they were like in their little claws and they were using it as a hand and it was very cute. So that was cool. Um, and then we dropped our friends home. I dropped the car back at Bondi because I that's where I picked it up from um, and came back home and then started, you know, 
the boring chores, uh, the boring chores of the weekend, washing, cooking dinner, preparing for Monday. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing weekend. It was so good for like, I know it sounds dramatic, but I feel like it was really good for my mental health. Like it was just really good to just get out, see something new, actually like go exploring. Because when you're in Sydney and you're working full time, I feel like you can get stuck into a, like a bit of a funk and not realize like you're actually in Australia. The whole reason you've come to Australia is to see amazing things, is to see new places and explore. And I just feel like the last six months, we maybe kind of forgot that a little bit. So it's really nice to have like a refreshing weekend. And it's definitely put the like, adventure back into us like we're like okay yeah cool when's the next trip we can go on like let's get planning so yeah it was very much needed um and i had a lovely time so i hope you've enjoyed all the footage i hope it was all good so annoying i forgot my camera but hey ho we move on um but thanks for watching and i will see you in next week's video